Hi everyone! So as you may know, I recently went to China and this was only my second time that I've ever been in Asia. My flatmate next year was so kind and hosted me for the entire 10 days that I was there and we actually did a lot of traveling but we were mainly based in Shanghai because that's where she lives. So I just wanted to take this opportunity and tell you guys what my favorite top five things were to do in Shanghai in case any of you guys decide to go there at some point. If you've been to Shanghai, let me know what your favorite things to do there were. So one place in Shanghai I really, really enjoyed visiting was the Yu Yuan Gardens and sort of the bazaar area surrounding. Basically, these gardens were founded by Pan family during the Ming Dynasty. And the whole area is very Ming Dynasty design and it took 18 years to build overall between the years of 1559 and 1577. It was, however, destroyed two times, first during the Opium War by the British in 1842, and secondly by the French during the Taiping Rebellion. But it has now been restored, and it's just a really relaxing area to walk around. There's a lot of, like, cool little water areas and, like, hidden enclaves where you can, like, go and just sit and be at peace. Also, if it's really, really hot, it's a lot cooler in the gardens because of all the shade and stuff. And if you look into the water, there is a lot of, um, those fish where if you kind of like stick your hand above the water and go like this they're used to being fed a lot so they'll all come swimming because they're expecting you to get food and they just open their mouths really wide it's really funny but yeah it's an absolutely beautiful garden and I really recommend it we got quite lucky because it wasn't that crowded but I think in general it tends to be a pretty crowded area because it's one of the top attractions in Shanghai and the surrounding bazaar area has like some uh, Confucius temple. There's a lot of little shops and um, food stalls where you can get like traditional gifts or traditional food. Okay, and um, number two, actually one of my favorite areas for eating and like kind of walking around shopping was what is called the New World area. In Chinese, it's called Xin Tian Di. Sorry about my pronunciation, guys. But it's basically like a really popular shopping, restaurant, entertainment area. And it is quite high end. And the district area is kind of where a lot of the more wealthy um, Shanghainese and uh, foreigners live in. But overall, I think the atmosphere there was really great. During my last day in Shanghai, we sat at like a restaurant bar and just people watched and talked for hours and it was really, really enjoyable and I really liked walking around that area. Number three, another area which is um, quite famous for shopping and eating is in the older part of town in the French concession area and it's called Tian Tzu Fang. And there's just a lot of like little boutiques of arts and crafts and street food and some bars and stuff. And it's just a really cool like kind of like a labyrinth of small alleyways where you can just really like explore and the area is still looking like quite traditional how Shanghai used to look back in the day before all of the constructions and stuff like it's still quite traditional looking and it's just a really cute area to wander around and you can find a lot of like really cool little knickknacks and stuff to um, buy and stuff. <laughs> Obviously, you can't go to Shanghai and not go to the Bund. That is like, I think, the number one uh, tourist attraction in Shanghai, with good reason. I mean, the skyline, especially at night, is amazing. There is a pedestrian walkway where you can see the new part of Shanghai over the Bund. And you can see the Oriental Pearl TV tower, and it's like lit up with LED lights. Like, the whole area is actually lit up with lights. And it changes colors, like pink, blue and it's just really really pretty to walk along the promenade there at night and just enjoy the scenery there. I actually did that the first night I came to Shanghai and it was just really amazing to take it all in. I also did go up the Pearl TV Tower. It is um, a bit more on the expensive side. There are cheaper places you can go up like I think the Financial Center and there was another one too that you can go up. The TV tower does have a glass bottom, so you can see straight down. It's the first place I've ever gone where it's a glass bottom. 
and you have to believe me I was absolutely terrified like I'm not usually scared of heights but it's just the glass bottom did uh, freak me out a little bit but yeah you can get a pretty good view it was a bit um cloudy and smoggy that day so you couldn't really see too far but it was really cool I especially love the Shanghai History Museum that was located like down stairs in in the um, tower and the museum was really cool like they built all kinds of little replicas and when you walked around it really told you the history of Shanghai but it was like in a kind not in an interactive way but in a really interesting way because they built like model sets of different houses and shops and streets of how Shanghai used to look so it was really like you could really see and it wasn't just reading and photographs like it was that, like 3d there you know and like little models and stuff like I, it was just really cool it was my favorite museum that I visited in China actually and then finally something I really 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 enjoyed going to was the Shanghai Circus World I have been to circuses before but let me tell you this was on a whole different level there were so many amazing acrobatics and we got to be in the front row and oh my goodness it's just these people I didn't take any video of this because you're not allowed to take photos and stuff but there was people flying around in the air, people jumping around in the air, there's this big cage with like, I think there was like seven motorcycles in it at the same time, and it was just absolutely incredible. I highly, highly recommend seeing that, especially if you're into acrobatics and stuff, because wow, incredible. And as a little bonus, there are quite a few cool places you can take um, single day trips from Shanghai to. We only had time to visit one, which was Xitang, which is a ancient scenic water town type of place. There's nine rivers that crisscross the entire area with like very old stone bridges that connect the two sides. And again, it has a lot of street food that's being sold there, a lot of arts and crafts, a lot of traditional Chinese relics, a lot of traditional Chinese arts and crafts. There are a few cultural sites there as well. And overall, a very interesting place to wander around for a day. So Shanghai was actually my favorite city that I visited in China overall. It is the most populous city in China and actually of Asia as well. There's more than 24 million people at present time living there and it's also a global financial center and transport hub. It's located sort of in the middle of the Chinese coast and it really grew in importance during the 19th century because of the European recognition as a trade hub area. So basically the Europeans forced Shanghai to be one of the ports that it opened up for trading to. Shanghai just has a really cool vibe. It's sort of a vibe, a mix between East and West, Old and New. It's just very unique and interesting. Like I know a lot of big cities kind of tend to blur together. It did give me a sort of a Chinese New York City vibe. It kind of did but it also has like all these like old areas mixed into the new and just like the European style and architecture mixed with like traditional Chinese art. It was just really, really cool. And I really, really love Shanghai. And so yeah, that's like the five things that I enjoyed most in Shanghai. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I really hope you guys sometimes get a chance to go because Shanghai is an absolutely amazing city and I loved it so, so much. But yeah, that just about concludes this video. Till next time.